All right, sure. I'm, uh, my name is Kayvon Afshari. I'm the host, executive producer, and creator of The Mideast Show. The Mideast Show is the first satirical newscast all about the Middle East. So if people watch, if they know like The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, it's kind of like that, um, but just about one region that's embroiled in so much turmoil and conflict. So we try to kind of educate people, um, as well as inject a little bit of humor into this really important discussion. Well, it's not easy. I mean, no doubt. I mean, there, the problem is that there's so much history here already. There's a cycle of violence already going on. So people, uh, you know, if they've had their brother or father killed, they already feel that they have uh, they have a sense of vengeance, that they need to go and attack the person that's already done it. So I don't want to suggest that this is an easy thing to do. This is an extremely, extremely difficult thing to do. But in the broader sense, what we need to do is try to teach people to kind of see this shared humanity that we all have and that we always talk about. And one of the ways we can try to do that is, you know, by using a little bit of humor. So, for example, in my show, um, I don't just go after just one religion or one ethnicity or one uh, government or one country at all. We try to really be objective um, and even-handed and just make jokes about, about everyone, really. Um, our, our goal in this is really to satirize absurdity. I talk about this a lot. There's a lot of absurdity in this entire region, and that includes, you know, U.S. foreign policy towards the region. So I want to identify where that absurdity is and then satirize it. And the goal, the broader goal in this, is to bring people who have a sense of humor closer together, regardless of if you're Egyptian, you know, whatever sect or ethnicity you are. Uh, as long as you have a sense of humor, I believe that you can identify that absurdity, satirize it, and then come together in the process and see, you know, a fellow is, you know, see an Israeli or an American or a Saudi who also has a sense of humor as, as your brother, really. Yeah. They have to be educated, that's right. Um, I don't, you know, I don't want to just go and, and, and just make fun of religion, but I think that religion has to, religion can be a really uh, an amplifying force for people to do a lot of good, but also for people to do really horrible things as well. Uh, when they have this belief that, like, you know, if they believe that Sunnis are infidels or that atheists are infidels or something like that. Um, so I think people have to stop this really antiquated uh, religious view and and start to kind of uh, synthesize their own religious beliefs uh, with uh, you know the respect that you have to pay to other people living in a modern world um, in a more humanitarian world. Well, these are all you know Abrahamic religions that come from the same the same root really they have very similar beliefs in a lot of ways there's no reason that they're not compatible with one another um, well there, I think there's two components to the cultural diplomacy objective of our show uh, one of them is ed education and I'll elaborate on this and the other one is humor as a unifying force so in terms of education I talked about this a little bit at the beginning about how uh, there's there's a huge I, I'm actually shocked after I started this show, I learned how much there's a lack of information about the Middle East among Americans.